Hi, I'm Lee and this is Bouton. Today we're talking about cleaning glass faster with a constructor brush. First though, I just want to tell you that you can click the YouTube icon here to subscribe to this channel, to join our Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, or read Window Cleaning Magazine free online with thousands more window cleaners. All the links you need are in the description below. Let's get on with the film. I made this. In this Booth Talk, we feature Perry Tate from Reach It. Perry tells Booth Talk why their approach is helping window cleaners clean glass faster. The featured product is the Constructor Brush. Here's the VT with guest host Steve Blythe of J Race and Steve. Steve Blythe, J Race and Steve for Window Cleaning magazine.co.uk. We're here in Amsterdam outside the uh, venue for Interclean and uh, we have uh, Reach It uh, deciding that the uh, interior wouldn't be as good of a presentation area as actually out here on this wonderful glass on the front of the uh, uh, Rye Amsterdam uh, facility. So you've got uh, several poles out here for us today. We do. Uh, a line starting for janitorial. Yes. And uh, then, that, then that works up into the occasional facilities maintenance. Yes. And then on to Reach It for Professionals. Yes. And uh, the Reach It for Professionals starts at uh, that mid-rise uh, size and then goes all the way up into higher and higher buildings, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> so it's been uh, five or six years now that you've been uh, putting this together. Yep. And you've been refining your technique to help the window cleaner become more efficient yes. and spend less energy in in working with the pole as well at the same time, right? Yeah, you got it. So, the, um, the focus was always to try and make it a, that the speed of the guy on the glass is what we're trying to achieve as compared to making it uh, simple. Yeah, so efficiency is like the, the core for us. More panes of glass in a day with less operator work is yeah. more money in everybody's pocket. Yeah, you All right? got it. Less, less fatigue for the operator. Yeah, All right. but he might have to think a little bit more. So we understand that that's the that's the reach of niche, right? I think right? it's better to hire for thinking than it is uh, than it is for other things sometimes, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. So uh, we know our niche is the the thinking guy and uh, the guy who wants to who understands that he wants to go faster and that he's going to have to do things a little bit more a little bit differently. Yeah. And speaking of doing things a little differently, yeah, you've taken that approach in several areas. So why don't you show us the construct constructor brush? The constructor brush is okay. probably the epitome of it. Yeah. All right, hang on, we'll do that again. Take 989, Steve, it's constructor brush. <coughs> He's ready? Yeah. Speaking of th doing things more efficiently and, and differently, yeah. um, you've done a few things yourself that way, so why don't you show us the con construct? I can't get it out. Oh, what? Again. Take 999. <laughs> oh, <that's great. laughs> He's gonna put it in the blooper reel, uh, you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So speaking of doing things more efficiently and differently, you've done some things differently yourself. Yes. Um, so why don't you show us the constructor brush? That's very good. <laughs> so one of the things that's uh, unique to reach it is the thoughtfulness that they put into the constructor brush. And uh, he's got one of the designs here he's gonna go through and tell us uh, why his approach is helping people clean glass faster. Right, so this is a constructor brush and the logic of it is that we don't use uh, the broom style brush. What we use is blades of, of bristle and so we're looking at our jets, they're not pencil jets where we're trying to rinse the glass, we're actually just trying to get a, a blade of water above the, above the brush. I'm left handed so I'll come this way. So we can you know, go into the corners like that, and then if we want to agitate straight up and down like that, and then if you want to fan rinse, 
you can fan rinse, but if you look here, each jet is an inch apart and each jet is responsible. So if you have hydrophobic glass, which is the enemy of the water pad, yeah, then there is no hydrophobic glass when you use a constructor brush. So whether you do a straight pull like that, that's your rinse, or you do a fan rinse like that, or you do a side pull like that, you've got all that time, because rinsing is the most inefficient part of water pad. So in a nutshell, you're creating a blade of water above that brush. Correct. That's, that's creating that, that clear space, almost, almost like a squeegee would, to drag down the dirt off the glass. Yes. Well, in fact, to, just to leave, because it's interesting to say drag down. In our thinking, because we have blades rather than holes, right, we think that the upstroke is an agitation stroke and the downstroke, if you have a look, like, just look there, you'll see the downstroke pulls the water off. So the downstroke is actually the first part of the rinse. So you've got agitate, rinse, agitate, rinse, and then polish. So it's completely different thinking. You could turn yeah? that into a song. <laughs> now we just got to get. Now we just got to get someone to sing it for you. <laughs> I'm thinking you might be the guy. Ah. <laughs> and then on the bristle side, let me show you this. I'll turn that water off. So it's an extruded aluminium channel, and we can change the bristle so we can have straight bristles, crinkled bristles, which spread them out. These are firm bristles. And we can put pig's hair, we're gonna put DuPont into here. Oh, here's another example. So the same brush, but this is all soft. So there's 200,000 bristle tips in that brush. Or we could put just pig's hair. But the funny thing is we can actually put pig's hair on the inside of this brush and make it whatever we want. And the other part that we think is really cool is that the part of a brush that wears out is the end where it rubs against the frame. And we can replace the the two end cap bristles for five bucks, three pounds, you know, that kind of money. So we're seeing one size here. And one of the things he's done for the big plate glass areas and large uh, areas of surface like uh, solar panel cleaning is he has these out to how far? The one meter. One meter. The Excalibur, we called it. Like we said, John De Palma, the first one, by the way. <laughs> so the one meter brush in an Excalibur, yeah. when you're working with a big piece of glass that's not cut up like this, but butt up glass on uh, curtain wall buildings, large panels, yeah. solar panels, things like that, each stroke in that instance you're working against that is, yeah. is, is the equivalent of multiple strokes of a smaller brush yeah. head. And you're able to move along faster, along with the water creating that knife edge. Yes. Yeah, for your, yeah, for your agitation yeah. and rinse pull yeah. in that instance, yeah. you're going to be you're going to be moving along several times faster several than times an average water-fed brush. Way, way, way. And because before you said if it's clad and there's no frame, that was another part of the jingle. <laughs> way, way, way. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, look at this. We because it's an aluminium extrusion, we can cut the aluminium extrusion to match the frame. We put the short bristles in here. They'll clean the frame. The long bristles here clean the window. So even if there's a framed window, we can do one stroke, two strokes, slow rinse off. So for the dedicated That's facility, they the might side. have uh, 14,000 panels that are similarly sized that yeah. have to be cleaned. Yeah. Okay. Creating a brush specifically, specifically for that for is building. going to is like going this, to like create this wall a, here. Uh, you could say we're going to make a, a rye brush for the for the wall. Yeah. And just get on and get off. Yeah. So one of the new things I saw Innovation was is your um, hose. Yes. You call it Rhino, and you have a tube. Yes. Comes in three colors. Now we have it in three colors. And see neon. Here is this one. Neon orange. Rhino yellow. <laughs> and blue. And uh, and then you have also a, have a Rhino tube. Yeah. Now we have right. a Rhino hose. And the whole idea with this is that is is that the that likes likes to lay flat doesn't yes. want to tangle. Yes. All right. So one of the most frustrating things of a job usually is setting up and getting that hose out there. Yes. And uh, so you have delivery hose in yep. the Rhino tube, and this expands out to uh, half, half inch, inch yeah. 13 mil, yeah. um, and uh, for your quick connect, and makes it really easy to deploy and roll back up yep. and small storage space. Yes, but it's not for reels because it's a flat hose, so water won't go through. It. It's only for
show us the constructor brush. The constructor brush is probably the epitome of it. Yeah. All right, hang on, we'll do that again. Take 1005.